Basilica. More than a dozen times a day, drivers make their way along the Stillicum Ferry Dock for half-hour rides to Anderson Island. What most probably don't know is how much attention this very spot received on October 18, 1940. Forgoing the typical Hollywood premiere, the stars of Tugboat Annie Sails Again visit Stillicum on a whirlwind publicity tour. Two-time Oscar nominee Marjorie Rambeau plays the title role. She poses for photographs aboard a tugboat and even blows the horn. Also present, a handsome 29-year-old studio contract player you may have heard of. Ronald Reagan finding the same sweetheart in every port. So why would the stars visit here? For the answer, we need to introduce Norman Riley Rain. As the writer of the Tugboat Annie stories for the Saturday Evening Post, I have often been asked the question, is Annie a real person? Because Annie is the tugboat queen of the Northwest, doing business in the fictional port of Tacoma, it has long been suggested the real Annie is Tacoma matriarch Thea Foss. But does the devout founder of Foss Tugboats really look like the kind of woman who could cuss up a storm? You rat twisted son of a seahorse! I feel like Thea had a pretty good sense of humor from what we can gather. Marilyn Bennett directed a play based on the life of Thea Foss. But the, the sort of uh, language and the sort of roughness of her, that probably would not have appealed, especially as a caricature <laughs> of herself. Nightfalls and the chance to see movie stars lures thousands to downtown Tacoma, where the movie is screened in three theaters. Outside the Pantages, the actors dedicate a plaque to Tugboat Annie, honoring the pioneer spirit of Puget Sound. You can see it yourself on the second floor of the theater. Reagan says a few words, and a local girl gets pulled out of the crowd for a picture. Tugboat Annie sails again. One of seven movies Reagan made in 1940 has been mostly forgotten. But it did bring Hollywood and a future president to this busy ferry dock in Stillicum.